Weekend, and you were away, so uh, you would have seen this maybe. Uh, the tragic ending yes. of the season for Indeed. Michael Barlow, who had been having an unbelievable oh, season watching. with the Fremantle Dockers. And uh, you oh. can see here that you don't want to watch, so you need to look away. But we, our thoughts are with him, of course, and everyone oh. uh, attached to the Fremantle Dockers because he has been the story of the season. And uh, don't, we just need to oh. sort of go back over that as many times enough. Um, <laughs> so... Amazingly courageous, though, Michael Barlow, Gary, because uh, he, he was able to get his way through uh, what happened straight after. Don't make light of this, Jim. No, no we're don't worry, Gary. we're not, Gary. We, we are open in our admiration for Michael and how he was able to conduct himself well, for the next make, five make, or six minutes, he's Gary. He's not making light of it, don't, Gary. He's going to make talking to you, Foss. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, <laughs> we've only been able to compare. His unbelievably stoic and courageous no, behaviour. Well, if you're going to if you're going to do what I think you're going to do, you better give the folks a warning. No, I can't. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary, we can only oh, we can only compare the amazingly oh, courageous dear. and stoic behaviour of Michael Barlow right, eh? with that oh. of another man who suffered a similar injury. Oh. <laughs> I also stood up, Jim, <laughs> Did after you? I broke my leg. You don't happen to show that. Well, Gary, all I know oh, is... what, you ought to ruin a good... Th what are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> well, I, I, rang, I rang Fremantle when I saw that, because it has exactly the same injury, it had both bones broken in exactly the same spot, and I read in the paper that he would possibly miss next year as well. That, that, uh, that's not right. Quite on... Now, let's get the, the humour out of the way. You were uh, injured in which round of the, no, of the well, year? Well, uh, round 22, I did that and played round one the next year. Yeah, exactly. So, and never, and I, I left a message with Michael to say that I have never since that day had one issue with the leg again. So it's shocking for him and, it, and he's in Brownlow medal form and he's a great footy story, but that, that will knit and mend itself and he'll come but back. But our friend Naif... Brown came back a fraction early and it never was the same. But he had he? shattered bones in a whole different place. Oh, well, I thought he said he broke his leg in two places. Mm. Yeah, he snapped him in half. Michael didn't get back to you? Pardon? Michael didn't get back to you? No, I'm catching, <laughs> oh, right. I'm catching up with Michael for a... But <laughs> 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 just couldn't... Not even a text back yet? <laughs> I didn't ring Michael, I rang the Fremantle oh, footy club. Right, of course uh, I'm catching up with Michael anyway. Anyway. Uh, I want to catch up with you, Gary. He, no, he you does. You might be yesterday's No, man. he does. <laughs> uh, Brisbane Tuncon St Kilda Saturday night.